do want to talk about keeping weapons out of schools. It's been a big priority for CMS since a student was shot and killed at Butler High School in 2018. Well, since then, high schools have started random security sweeps and also wanding students for weapons as well. It was the former superintendent, Dr. Clayton Wilcox, who led the implementation of those safety changes. But now we've learned the FBI wants papers from CMS, and Channel 9's Elsa Gillis learned it all has to do with his resignation. Well, in the last 90 minutes, the district shared this subpoena with me that came to CMS from the Department of Justice. The U.S. Attorney is asking for the district to provide any and all documents relating or incident to the resignation of former Superintendent Clayton Wilcox from June 2017 to September 6th when the subpoena was issued. The board chair told me this morning that they were told it was a routine matter, something they do when a superintendent separates from a district to make sure federal funds have not been misused. Dr. Clayton Wilcox resigned in August after two years on the job. He was suspended prior to resigning. Sources confirmed to Channel 9 that his suspension involved quite a few violations of state law and board policies, all of which require compliance. One of the issues that played a role in that, CMS stopped fingerprinting new employees for several months. There were also issues with pre-K through second grade suspension policies and how they're reported, as well as miscalculating the number of days the district can miss class. And that miscalculation resulted in Butler High School students going to school an extra day at the end of the year to make up the day missed following a deadly shooting last October. And we're told there were other issues as well. Now, I will continue checking with the district and U.S. Attorney's Office to see what, if anything, comes from this. Back to you. Thanks, Elsa.